Hey guys, my name is Derek and today I'm going to be uh, reviewing Some Boys Them Out Walking Part 1. So here we go. So, some boy uh, just released his like uh, part one of his dead man walking. Uh, I think this is going to be. I assume it's going to be like an album, you know, uh, like from Doctor Oz with his like um, EP. You know, like he had uh, part one, and part two. I forgot the name at the moment right now, uh, but. Um, Overall, I think it's the exact execution, you know, the violin parts, and yeah, at least I already heard like two other songs, you know, the Desperado and Flatline featuring Michael Martin, which I think uh, both of them are really solid, but uh, I think I prefer just a little bit Flatline. I'll give my uh, thoughts on it uh, later on, but um, let's just get straight to it. The first track of the part one. Of some boys that man walking is the title that man walking. Okay, so well, you know, pretty solid. I uh, enjoyed the parts where it goes like more sharp, you go like ding, 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 ding. Like that part, I enjoy it way more than the usual like, growls and uh, yeah. Um, also, like the vocal, I don't know how I feel about it. Like it, it's it's okay, but I don't feel like it stands out for me. Like maybe in a live set, I'll probably get really you know hyped. But right now I'm just like okay, and uh, kind of reminds me a little bit. The vocals kind of remind me a little bit like uh, like Yuki. I don't know, like the voice. I don't know, uh, like it kind of reminds me of that.
sound like the beginning of a very distant star, 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 star. Okay, so I think it was uh it's an okay track, you know, like uh you know it's solid but you know really doesn't even like stand out as much for me. I think it's you know like uh you know classic as some boy. Um also I there's a part where it goes like like I really wish in that part he could have done more with that, you know, like uh use it as the draw like like I don't know, like like uh when I heard that sound design, I kinda got reminded a little bit of uh riot uh no uh riot and Sultan's uh collab like uh like uh Arabian Nights like uh, that track, uh, when it transitions into like the soul tan drop, like it that like specific sound design kind of reminded me a little bit of that, and wish you could have done more with it, but you know it's okay. Now moving on to the next track is Desperado. This one I already listened to, but I'm gonna give you my thoughts after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to me, when I first listened to it, I was surprised that was a different genre. I wasn't expecting it to be bass house, or at least but like the entire track, I wasn't expecting it to be bass house. I was thinking like, okay, bass house like for the first drop, and then maybe the second drop is going to be like dubstep, and then uh, transitioning again to bass house. But no, this bass house here is doing it. Always a dead man. Always a dead man. Solid composition. I really like the sound design, and yeah, I mean, so so far it's really something I get. I think it's one of the probably one of the best tracks in this EP so far. That part where it goes ding ding ding. I really wish you could have done drum and bass in that part. I think he could have done that. Well, it's been a really little well, surprising for him. At least for me. It's well, been a lot surprising he had done that. Dead man. Always a dead man. Again, solid track. I really enjoy how uh, its composition and you know how cohesive it sounds. You know, like the sound design. You know, great. Uh, I get some kind of vibes of maybe some Jaws, abstract, 
maybe Joe Rag, you know, it just kind of sounds like it could be uh, that, but you know, uh, he finds his style within it. And I really didn't mind the sustain bass that goes on. When, like, at least, you know, it has a purpose to it, you know, like, it's layered uh, with other basses, you know, to like not have it be stale. So, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, moving on to the third track, it's uh, Flatline featuring Micah Martin. I already listened to this track specifically like a bunch of times because uh, the first time I heard it, I thought it was okay. Like, I really didn't think it was like the greatest track or like it didn't really stand out for me because like when you, the first time I heard it for me, it felt like it was compressed and then when it transitions into the, the B section of the first drop, I kind of feel like it didn't fit in. But as time passed, I kept listening to it and kind of got like a little bit like, you know, accustomed to it. So I got a bit, uh, I been able to enjoy it a little bit more. And the vocals, you know, I really love them. Like they're really catchy. And you know, it took me a while to get, you know, like, uh, accustomed to it, you know, to give, give myself like a vibe, but yeah, let's just check it out. Yeah, I'll say this that this part specifically then 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 Like at first time I heard like um I didn't think it gonna fit in. I feel like it was sounding really off. So I thought the line like somewhere else, like for another track or something. But you know, as time passed by, I was like, it's okay, it's okay.
to the final track of the EP. Uh, it's Songboy and Must Die, and this one's called Last One Standing. And that was it. That was Some Boys, Dead Man Walking Part 1. And I have to say that the tracks that I really enjoyed were, you know, like the ones I already listened to before, like Desperado, uh, Flatline, and surprisingly enough, you know, like the, this last one, the collab between him and Must Die, that was really great. I really love the sound design on it. Uh, I really love how uh, the composition and you know like it really sounded different you know i think that's because of must die obviously like i feel like it helps so well like and not have it be so like i don't know like what's the word like too generic in some way like i really love how both other styles work so well together 
And yeah, that's my thoughts on the part one of the man walking. I hope you enjoyed my uh, reaction and review to it. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, click on the notification bell to keep you guys updated on my next videos. And yeah, this is Dexter signing off.